Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by today. I know I haven't made a video in a long time, but today we are going to be talking about summer essentials. I love summertime, it's the best time of the year. It's nice, it's warm outside, it's not cold, you don't need all these layers. And don't get me wrong, I love wintertime, I love layering, but I'm done with it. And now I'm ready to move on to wearing almost nothing. Yes. So yeah, let's get this video started because I have a lot to talk about. Um, I'm basically gonna cover the fashion aspect of it, from clothes to shoes to swimsuits to bags, um, shoes, did I see shoes? Okay, shoes, <laughs> sunglasses, and um, I'm gonna cover some makeup just because my makeup, oh my hair looks like a mess, I'm sorry. Um, it's raining today and whenever my hair, whenever it gets rainy and humid outside, my hair, um, my hair is absolutely the straightest hair you will ever see. And um, it just doesn't hold a curl at all. So whenever it gets humid outside, it just gets even more flat and dead. So I usually like to put it on a in a little ponytail so it'll look a little a little voluminous, maybe possible. No, see you see how flat it is here in the roots. Um, and no matter how much like volumize and hair shampoo, hairspray, shampoo, anything, it just doesn't stay up. So um, that's basically my life. <laughs> Okay, so um, yeah, like I said, shoes. Um, let me fix my hair. Okay, so I decided to go for the high ponytail. This is weird. Okay. Um, okay, so yeah, and then shoes and then some makeup just because uh, for summer. This is basically my makeup look. Um, all I do is just some eyeliner, mascara, and then foundation. And then sometimes I don't even do eyeliner, just I did it today because on screen my face looks kind of very endimensional if I don't wear eyeliner. Um, so yeah, basically that would be it. So let's get started with, um, let's get started with the face. Um, my basic skincare, I break out very, very easily. I have very just sensitive skin to anything. I can't, um, I've learned my lesson throughout the years. I just can't go and just try different types of skincare lines and different type of skin, whatever, you know, like, you know, you're walking down the makeup aisle or makeup counters at the mall. And you know, there's all these ladies saying, oh, have you tried this, have you tried that? We have this newest moisturizer, we have this. And I would love to try them all and see, you know, what's better than the next one. But I mean, my skin just won't have it. Every time I change moisturizers or change my skin regimen, I break out like crazy. So I'm done with it. I, I can't do it, sadly, for my skin type, I can't. So what I have found that has been working out for the last couple of months is this, um, this one here. And it's the Estee Lauder clear difference um the serum and the moisturizer i don't know if that's catching up on t on the, on the screen but yes um i usually i yeah i use the serum and then i use i can't talk today and then i use the moisturizer the serum is a good chunk of change um but it's really crazy how this is like the magic worker and then this is just like oh, let me help you out some but this is it, it's it's pricey but it, it definitely does make the difference so um if you don't use a serum and you don't have to use this one i've used the lancome um genifique and i think it's the only serum that i've, that I've used other than this one um but if you don't use a serum in your skincare regimen definitely try to add one in there there's different price ranges for serums but they really really do help you really will notice a difference um if you start using a serum before you use your moisturizer and then I use an eye cream, but basically I was using the Genifique eye cream, but I ran out of that one. And then whenever I bought these two, they gave me a little sample of their eye cream for free. So that's what I'm using now. Um, I don't see anything wow about it, so I'm. It's, it's not important to show. But yeah, definitely use an eye cream just because, you know, you got to prevent wrinkles. And I don't know. My face is really weird. I've had like two like deep wrinkles under my eyes since forever since I was a kid so I just try to use um, eye moisturizer to try to kind of I mean they're not gonna go away but just to make them not look as deep and as prominent as they usually do um, so yeah so and then my foundation oh I forgot my concealer but for concealer I just use the Marc Jacobs remarkable I think that's what it's called and then for foundation I use this Lancome tint idol it's showing up really dark on the screen, but it's been up. maybe it is dark. I don't know. Uh, my color is 320 Bisque W. So I'm on the warmer side of the color spectrum of the foundation world. 
Um, and the brush that I use to put it on is this MAC. The number's kind of blown away or kind of blurred away. I don't know if it's 130, maybe 130. Um, it's just this one with the, um, with the little white tip on it, the natural fibers, I guess. I don't know. I don't know anything about brushes, you guys. But it's what I use, and I found that that really works out good if you just kind of put it on, like, in circles. Gives you, like, that airbrush finish. Um, and then, yeah, and then I got this brush whenever I tried uh, Bare Minerals Foundation, which that just did not work for me that very that well. But I really do like this brush. This is the Precision Face Brush by Bare Minerals. I really like this one to put on with my powder, which I forgot it. But it's the Lancome one as well. The, I forgot what it's called, but it's like their most, like, common used um powder just the regular powder not i know they have a powder for like aging skin and stuff it's not that one it's just a regular black compact powder no big deal but yeah i definitely powder my face and then to um my eyes get very very oily around the eyelid area <laughs> Um, so I definitely have to pack on the powder under my eyes so my eyeliner will stay straight on and not smudge down because they just like, yeah, my eye, my eyeliner would just start wearing down and smudge it down and I don't have like raccoon eyes and that does not look hot. Um, so yeah, the eyeliner that I currently use is the Marc Jacobs one. It's this one. This is like my favorite eyeliner ever. This is a gel liner. So it um, goes on kind of very gel-like very pigmented black and that's what I really like. I like that pigmented black color. And then um, for highlight, I use the NARS. This is called Abatross, I believe. It's just this one. It's really pretty and it looks white and kind of um, silvery on screen, but whenever you put it on, it like, changes colors into gold and I just wear it with this one. This is a MAC brush, but the numbers have totally just gone away, but I ain't just any brush. And I put on my hat, on my um, bones here, my cheekbones, which I really don't have any cheekbones. Um, I have really big cheeks, so it kind of just <laughs> covers everything. But yeah, and then I don't contour at all, just because, like I said, I don't have, I don't have cheekbones. Look, like they don't really go in anywhere, so it just it's it just it just looks messy on my face. So I don't even do it. Not even gonna try it. And then I use the lipstick I'm wearing right now is also Lancome. I'm kind of like a big Lancome fan just because they I, for me I've done I've used Lancome since I was first on that with makeup. My mom used it. I was still her makeup and you know all her makeup was Lancome. So I've just kind of been yeah I just kind of been using it from then on and then um every time i kind of stray away from lancome and try to go use other brands you know lancome's just the foundation is the only one that does not break me out constantly and if it doesn't break me out then i'm sticking with it too bad so this is the color that i use um, that's currently on my lips and this look is very inspired by kylie jenner i know she's like i'm like in my 20s and she's 17 and like that's weird to be inspired by a little 17 year old but yo she's got her look down good like she she knows what she's doing with her makeup and i like it so yeah it's the lancome um rouge and love in the color nine no 391 okay um and then just basically mascara i curl my lashes like crazy so i curl mascara curl mascara curl mascara it's basically what i do because if i don't my lashes would just go like me they would just be kind of down, and I don't like that. And um, a mascara that I use is the Lash Blast Volume Waterproof, and I get it always in the blackest black, very black. So that's makeup. That's basically what I do on my face. Um, let's talk about jewelry, because jewelry is, I mean, it's always very simple with me. I don't have a lot of jewelry. I'm not a big jewelry person. I like to get certain pieces that I really like, and I wear them, like, I wear the same jewelry throughout the, like, the week, the days months it's just the way i am and then gradually i'll add in pieces but it's not too common um so basically what i'm wearing right now is just a free people kind of choker necklace i've been obsessed with this i've worn it like so many times it's crazy um rings bracelets watch just a lot of like thickness on the hands 
and yeah okay so let's go with um bags summertime is all about bright bags i bright colors in general it's just so fun which is why i love summertime it's so bright and fun even though it's kind of dark in here because it's raining outside i only use in like natural lighting so it's kind of dark today but in general it's bright it's sunny and you want to wear bright colors so um, for bags, just basically bright bags. This, these are really fun. Bright small bags is what I wear all the time. This is like the little Hamilton Michael Kors Mini. I think it's so adorable in this teal color. This one's a little Burberry bag. Um, you can wear it as a clutch. I usually wear it as a clutch on night outs. And then of course it has the little things with the long straps if you do a long body. Um, yeah, just basically fun bags and bright colors. And then this bag here. This, these bags are kind of like my fun, just get out the door, ready to go, night out bags. This one is for kind of like a day out bag, but the Lady Dior um, is kind of very hard to use as an everyday bag, just because it's very hard to get stuff in and out of there. But basically, I use it for the colors and because I love the shape of the Lady Dior. So yeah, but basically just fun, bright colors for summer. It's adorable and it's fun and I love it. Uh, okay, so let's go with shoes now. For my everyday shoes, I wanted sandals. And I wanted sandals with like a little bit of a pop, a little bit of a glam, but not too much. I also wanted them in a neutral kind of color to wear with everything, not just dressed up looks or not just with certain color outfits. Um, I didn't want them clashing too much. Yes, summer's all about color, but let's try to keep it, you know, neutral. Not neutral, but, you know, under control. So I found these at Macy's the other day. And I think they are adorable. They are so comfy. They're by Michael Kors. This sole is so comfy and just, it's got some cushion to it. So whenever you walk, it just feels so unbelievably, unbelievably comfortable. The color is just a brown color and it has these little crystals up top. So it'll like glam up your look without looking too dressed up. The other day I wore this with some denim cut off shorts, a tank and a kimono and that's basically my life that day and it was perfect and that's exactly what I wanted because you know some days whenever it's so hot outside and I live in Texas so it gets unbelievably hot outside and humid um I don't want to wear I just don't want to like wear anything I don't want I wake up and like ugh, it's so hot and humid I don't want to wear anything so this is pretty much pretty much cool for those days um but I am a heel lover I love high heels I they're, they're my life, basically, high heels. I just live in them. They're what makes, it's what makes me happy. It makes my feet happy for a while and it makes my, heat, my feet very, very mad. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, so basically, again, just bright colors. I mean, like, if you follow me on my blog, you know that I'm all about those metallic, bright, neon colors. So these heels are perfectly my favorite thing in the world. Whenever I want to dress up some cut off, like some jean shorts, some cut off, shorts or some um boyfriend jeans distressed boyfriend jeans these are what i wear to dress them up and then these are my newest shoes and i love these because they're so summertime and so neutral also that i can wear them with everything and anything i can dress them up i can dress them down i can wear them with basically anything and they're so fun they are definitely a showstopper they're definitely high you know very scary for some people but just in general just the neutral high heel wedge or any type of shoe is good just to elevate that elevate your look a little bit more so it won't look like you you know when you want to dress up it won't look too too dressed up you can still dress it down or dress dress up a very casual look yeah dress up a very casual look or um if you want to dress down a dress as well i think these could definitely work maybe possibly maybe i'm just just too too much sometimes <laughs> and then um oh my foot fell asleep don't you hate whenever that happens when you're sitting on the floor and your feet fall asleep okay and then um wedge sneakers which sneakers are the most fantastic thing ever but when everybody put a wedge in them it's even better so yes wedge sneakers are also fabulous and they're so comfy and everything and everybody should have a pair of wedge sneakers they're just the best thing ever okay guys so next on my list is um 
sunglasses i'm obsessed with sunglasses i can buy a pair of sunglasses every single day if that was financially possible <laughs> but um they're just so fun and it's it's so fun like the new styles that they're coming out with the new colors the new shapes and sizes really really fun um for me particularly i like to use more oversized glasses because like i said i have very big cheeks and i feel like my face is just very big in general so smaller lenses definitely emphasize my cheeks more so bigger lenses kind of hides hides it so i definitely i'm definitely all for the big giant sunglasses um just because it just complements my face more so yeah just basically any mirrored sunglasses these are like a red kind of orangey color and i'm obsessed with these and they're big and they're shield like and it makes my face look just a little bit a little bit smaller <laughs> um so yeah like these are super fun which i absolutely love um i just recently got a new pair from fendi and these are kind of fun i wish the lenses were a little bit bigger but i mean oh well so it's these and can you see a little bit of the difference um how bigger lenses can change your face shape as to smaller lenses i don't know if you can see that very well but yeah, these are really, really fun. I like these. And they have like these little like cat kind of thing going on with crystals on the end, on the edges of them. So yeah, it's really fun. And then like this has a little zigzag to it. It's really, really, I don't know. I just, I just love sunglasses for summer. I mean, duh, who doesn't? But just all these different kinds of shapes and colors are just so fun. This is also, um, again, with the mirror kind of trend going on. These are really cool. They have like a blue um, lens on them with pink on the outside. I don't know if you can see that. Super fun. All right, so there's. And yeah, just basically any color can work. These are the classic Ray-Ban ones in green. So cool, right? Like even with just like this black outfit, just, you know, if you haven't tried them out, they come in all different colors you know different brands different price ranges i've seen some for like five dollars all the way up to like 500 you know the victoria the victoria beckham ones um that i've seen all over instagram those are like 500 dollars. but you don't have to spend that much just try it out if you haven't definitely try it out because they're so fun and just so cool and even if you're um because I know a lot of people don't like the mirrored look. It's just not their style and not, you know, it doesn't have to be your style. That's perfectly fine. You can definitely find some that have the um, just normal colored lens, but maybe like a colorful outside. These are really fun and cool. See, so this, this one has just the normal um, colored lens, the dark colored lens, but it has the red outside to it. So it adds some funness to it. It adds... A little bit of sass to your to your outfit I'm so sorry you guys for my hair I don't know what to do with it um but yeah so definitely just sunglasses is a summer staple definitely 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 try out new lenses new colors new shapes and styles it's just like the funnest thing ever you guys so yay for sunglasses all right so next is um let's go with swimsuits um i usually try to do three basic colors um in my swimsuits i do of course a black this one's a cool one from, oh you can't see it because black and black um this one's a cool one from victoria's secret i got last year i don't know if it's still around this year and i rarely 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 go swimming i think i went swimming like once or twice last year it's just i i work all the time i just don't get around to it i don't have a pool in my backyard i it's just no i don't know i don't know why i just don't really go swimming that much so i'll buy these swimsuits and literally use them once or twice a year so i i'm not a big swimsuit person because i really don't need to i mean i i don't need to um so basically a black white and then i get one off color which for this one, it's going to be a pink one just because most of my swimsuits have some kind of pink to it. So it'll be easier to match it as you would see in this one. I have a white one. Again, this is um, from last year. This one's really cool because it has the little crystals in the middle. And again, it has pink. So I can match it up with the black, white, 
or the pink one. Um, this one's really cool. This one's the newer style from Victoria's Secret. And again, it has pink on it. So again, I can match it up with the black, the pink, or the white. Right? So, I don't know. I'm all about... Oh, and this one's another bottom. This one's really fun looking. This one I actually got last year because I um, went to Six Flags and I didn't know that Six Flags in San Antonio has a water park inside. And I went swimming, so I had to get a swimsuit that day, which was totally overpriced. But, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do to go swimming. Um, see, again, this one has pink in it. And this one I got it this year from Victoria's Secret, but I got it from their clearance section or clearance sale online. Um, again, like I said, I don't go swimming that much, so I don't like to spend too much money on swimsuits just because I really don't use them that much. And this one. See, so all of my swimsuits have some kind of white or some kind of pink going on so I can match it with the pink. And of course, everything goes with white and black. So basically, that was my swimsuits. Um, and let's go on to clothes. So for clothes, um, basically, I live in like cut-off jean shorts, which is, let me show you, like basically what I'm wearing today. Oh, you can't see it. See, so like a loose flowy top and like jean shorts, which you can't see. Can you see? No. Mm. I trade you guys. Um, I don't want to stand all the way up because you're just going to see like my feet and my legs. So I'm um, just basically jean shorts, cut off shorts are my life during summertime. And then um, basically skirts like this, like flowy light skirts are really, really cute too. And like skirts like this with just a little basic white tank or a white um, t-shirt with like these sandals and like that's like the cutest look ever. Or if you want to go a little bit of glam. No. Oh, this would look cute too, right? Like a little sporty look. You know, just testing out the waters with, with, your, with your clothes and um, this, I love Squirts as well. This one's from Free People last year. Um, I think they still have a version of this one. I don't know if it's in the same color, but they definitely, I think they have one in another color, but pretty much the same kind of design. So this one's really cool. And it's made out of like a really light cotton fabric. So it's very light and airy and just so fun and cool. Oh my gosh, I never noticed that my waist is like the size of my shoulders. And then, I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm all about color. I'm all about just showstopper pieces. You know, I truly believe that if you want to look dressed up, you don't have to try too much. Like, people make such a big deal out of, like, dressing up. Oh, I gotta have to dress up. No, you don't. You know, you're gonna dress up with the bottom, you're gonna dress up with the top, and you're gonna dress up with shoes. Or you're gonna, you have to dress like that anyways. Like, that's your basic three parts of your clothing. So instead of picking out just a generic basic pair of shorts or a, a basic skirt, this is a little bit a lot but you know and it's just the idea of it get something that's more showstopper you know like this so here's your bottom pair it up with a basic white tee right and then okay maybe not like you know just choose a pair of shoes without crystals because that may be too much they just see yeah, that may be too much just with the crystals but if it's just like a basic brown leather sandal there you go that's your look that day and that'll get you a little bit more dressed up you'll feel a little bit more like showstopper without trying too much so i'm um, definitely it's super fun to keep a skirt like this that's a little bit more out there definitely have your basic skirts but you know don't be scared to try out something you know a little bit more out there so yeah this is definitely like, i love this skirt look at the different colors of it this one's by Mark by Mark Jacobs, and um, they also had a coat by it, which Alexa Chung wore to his fashion show, I believe it was in London, and she wore it, and oh, I was stalking that coat online, and it was like a thousand something, and then it went all the way down to like $700, and I was like, oh, should I get it, should I not get it? Like, I really, really want it, just because I'm all about this like bright, colorful lifestyle. Um, so basically when I was like, okay, I'm gonna splurge, I'm gonna get it, and in the morning that I went to go, like, went online to, like, finally purchase it, it got sold. Ooh, that's so mad. That's why you shouldn't wait on stuff that you absolutely want. But sometimes money makes you wait. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then, yeah, summertime is all about, like, fun stuff, and this one's super fun. This is a tank. 
and it's a tank with some ruffles on the bottom and it has this really cool like metallic little sheen through it so this is really cool right like fun something simple you can even wear this oh, i can't put my face through it but yeah like wear this with some jean shorts and you're done t-shirts again are a basic must but get um t-shirts with a little twist on them see this is the back of it and it's all the way down here so you can wear like a you can go you know braless and wear nothing and just you know show your back or you can wear like a little cami under it or a little bralette and let the bralette detail show by show through which is really cool and again it's all about getting pieces like this could be super cute with this skirt and this one also comes in a white which i also have i just didn't bring it out here but even with the white tee so you're just basic flowy stuff, just normal t-shirts, mix and match. I love this halter top from Zara. These, um, they have these currently in store and they come in like white, black, this color and the stripe and everything and they're so fun. I love halter tops because I love like how it shows off my shoulders. Um, so yeah, these are really fun. So you're just basically airy stuff. These I absolutely love is these little, um, camisoles crop top camisoles which has the ruffles on the bottom i got these at club monaco and they're really really fun and cute this one i got the other day from um, urban outfitters it's really cute it's it's not really a crop little sweater top it's very light it's like it's made out of a very like a knitted material but it's very light and see-through but like i said it's not um it's not heavy, it's not really crop, but it's not really just a normal length sweater either, or sweater top. Um, it's just very, it, like right under your belly button, I guess. It's depending on how tall you are and depending on like your, um, your torso length. But yeah, this one's really cute. And I got um, another one, which is kind of similar. It has this on the bottom, it's also the tank, and then it has this detail on the back, which is really cute. So yeah, um, this one I actually got it on sale at Urban, and then this one was in the regular price side. So you'll probably still find this one. This one's really cute. Um, it's by by the brand Ecote. E C O T, and then the E has a little like eh sign. So yeah, that's really fun. And then oh my god, he's about to run out. Okay, I'm gonna hurry. Um, rompers are basically my life right now as well. I love them to death. I have this one. And like I said, just colorful, lots of colors. This one I also got from Urban, not like the other day, which is really cute. I actually saw that one online. They have a different color combo. So yes. Um, floral tops. Love this. It's very, um, I feel like very inspired by Mexico by this. I love this one. Um, let's see here. Dresses as well. This one is from Zara. Just flowy and airy and just like I said, just basic colors. Well, not basic colors, but just basically anything colorful. This one's really cute. Um, this one's there's some jean shorts. Denim on denim look is really in right now and this fabric is so nice. And you can wear this all year round, not just summertime. Yay. And then kimonos. You have to have a kimono in your life. I got this one from Abercrombie last year. And um I mean, I love kimonos, but I'm not crazy about them. So the two that I bought last year are basically going to transfer into this year. And I highly doubt I'm going to get, oh my gosh, this thing is like catching on everything. Okay. Okay. Wow. It's okay. It's on everything. Whatever. Um, so yeah, floral tops because it's summertime. Everything is floral. And I don't wear jeans during the summer because like I said, Texas gets so, so hot. So basically, I just wear any, like these pants are super light and um, they have cut off, like the distress details to them. And uh, they're crop jeans, but it has a very like cute frayed detail on the bottom too. So I've worn these with flats and with high heels and they look really cute. And then of course, your basic boyfriend jeans with distressed. Roll at the bottom, pair it up with heels. I love this combination right here. So yeah, you guys, this was my video. Um, it's probably going to be like as long as a movie. I do apologize for that. I hope I kept you entertained throughout the whole thing. And if you're still watching, then 
you know let me know in the comments that you've made it through my video uh so yeah so i hope you guys have a wonderful um beginning you know it's about to be summertime and i think summer starts on 20 21st so we're almost there it feels like summer already so who cares i'm gonna say it's summertime already i hope you guys have a wonderful summer um let me know if you guys are going out to vacation anywhere um i will be going out of town for fourth of july but that's basically it um that's basically my summer life <laughs> um so yeah and let me know what's your basic go-to's for summer like do you know do you go out for color or are you more you know monochrome ish or are you all about that color life you know all about the brights and neons and you know let me know how your style kind of changes from winter to summertime my style kind of stays the same i just kind of embrace the color and the neons a little bit more like i already do in the winter time but then i go hardcore in the summertime so let me know what you do like how does it change from winter to summer all right guys have a wonderful week i it's monday tuesday i don't know when this video is gonna go up but yeah have a wonderful week and enjoy your summer and be very very colorful bye guys